Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video. Hannah K just released her iconic makeup routine on YouTube and I really want to try it. I absolutely love and adore the way she does her makeup that I literally went out to buy one of the same products as her and it was so cheap. I love it, but let's get started. If I'm looking down, I have the video playing to my left. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, the first like 1 minute 47 seconds there's a ad for her on root jewelry, which by the way is so cute. Can I mention I made my own earrings? These are little Dragon Ball balls from Dragon Ball. They're super cute. I made them. I might sell them. I don't know yet, but if you guys like them, let me know. So the first step I do is concealer. Okay, so basically the first step is spot concealing. So let's go do that. We're going to take my Merit concealer this way. And we're just going to, I don't know, where she put it? Under the eyes, nose, and mouth. I guess we'll just do the same. We'll just go here. Mine's definitely not as clean as hers because hers is literally a little dabber. Mine is like a dragger, but she does some around here. And the lips. Is that decent? I don't know. Blending with your fingers is key to having like a really skin-like finish. Blending with your fingers is key to having a very skin-like finish. So let's blend with the fingers. I had to go run and grab a little mirror. It was just not working with the viewfinder, but if you see me looking off camera, that is why. So just blend with the finger. Honestly, I really like using beauty blenders sometimes just because, I don't know, they're fun to hit your face with a little sponge, but I can do the fingers. Okay, it's essentially all blended in, but I want my under eyes just to be a bit brighter, so we're gonna go in with one more product. I got this from a PR package, but basically it's just a banana conceal eye cream. It doesn't really conceal, but it does just add a little brightness under the eyes. So it's finally coming out. All this really does is just brighten up the under eyes just a bit and moisturize them. Just like that. Done. Next, I'll be moving on to blush. And it's like this mousse eyeshadow thing um like airbrushed like soft look that i love okay hannah uses a very moussey type of color for her blush but i don't don't have that at all so we're gonna go in with my rare beauty if you guys don't mind but i will apply it the same way she does with her fingers so so she just takes a bit and then she just taps it with her finger i've actually never applied blush with my fingers before so this is new i put this absolutely everywhere i put it on my cheeks and a little on my eyelids cheeks and eyelids so cheeks i feel like this is barely showing up on camera I'm kind of dragging up because I learned with my face shape, blush should go upwards, I believe. I don't know, I feel like it just follows the cheekbone. I think I have very prominent cheekbones. I'm not sure though. People tell me otherwise. Okay, and she puts a bit on her eyelids. I'm kind of scared to do this. Okay, I've committed. Is that too much? I feel like that's too much. I feel like it kind of looks good. <laughs> okay, let's do the other. Wait, is blush on the lids? I think now and under my eyes as well under the eyes as well okay i don't think i told you guys this i'm pretty sure hannah k lives in like the same kind of area that i live in like i'm in ontario she's also in ontario i believe i see her post on the ttc subway sometimes and that's toronto so i'm pretty sure she's within the gta ish area which is kind of cool i didn't think many creators lived where i live <laughs> okay we're under the eyelids now and i also put some on my nose bruh okay on the nose too i kind of like blush on the nose it's cute i want a sun-kissed nose so we're gonna go a bit heavy there we go next is mascara so first thing i curl my lashes time to curl the lashes this is the shiseido eye curler it's my favorite thing ever i think this lash curler is perfect for asian lashes i got it when i did a collab or brand deal with um shiseido i love it they brought they gave this to me as well it was for our brow stuff originally like hello wait i got it completely wrong this is not shiseido this is shi umera my apologies i am terrible i'm sorry and bottom i go in with multiple coats of the better than sex um waterproof mascara all right, she's going in with waterproof mascara. I'm not gonna lie. I would do it if I was going somewhere, but after this video, I'm literally just staying home and waterproof mascara is terrible to get off. So I'm just gonna be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara if you guys don't mind. Okay, I need to concentrate when I do mascara because mascara to me is like eyeliner. So I'll be right back. Okay, here is for the first layer of mascara and this is the second layer. Okay, let's keep going. Take my trusty brow pencil and I just like, fill in 
My eyebrows way they look kind of sparse. Okay, guys, this is the brow thing she was using in that video. I searched high and low for this. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil in the shade C623A Brunettes Do It Better. This is so cheap. It was only like $3.50 at Rexall and Shoppers Drug Mart, which is crazy. So I'm very excited to use this. Although I was reading reviews on it and they don't have the best reviews because it's so cheap, but like, I don't know. It just, I'm down to try it. Ow. <gasps> I broke it. I snapped the sharp thingy off of it and I don't have a sharpener. It's fine. Hers looks really dull in the video. So I guess I just made it even more realistic. Negative two for packaging though. All right, so her brows are already pretty thick and mine are a bit more on the sparse thinner side. So I'm gonna try with this, but if it's not working out, I'm just gonna switch over and then we'll come back to this. I'm down to try. Oh God, I don't think I can use a pencil. I think I'm gonna go use my brow gel instead. This looks so weird. I'll smudge this out. <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks good smudged. Oh, wait, it kind of looks good now. Mm, no, kind of. Mm. Update, I don't hate it. We're gonna try again on this brow now. I never understand how to do things on the right side of my face with left hand and things. Okay, that looks like a mess, but it's fine. And then smudge it out. Okay, it kind of looks a bit wonky on camera but honestly i'm kind of liking the way it looks like this actually smudges out very nicely and natural to make it a tad bit thicker i'm going in with my merit i think it's the 1980 brow pomade we're just gonna go over very lightly because this stuff can build up pretty pretty thick this is like a vol volumizing brow pomade so i think it kind of just helps add a bit more volume just because my brows are pretty non-voluminous you know what I mean. Once again, just to buff it out. I think it's decent. Let's continue. But I also use this as eyeliner and I like drawing my fake face like longer. Okay, this is what I bought this for, for the egg cell part. I don't think I can do the fake crease part just because I don't already have a second eyelid so i feel like that would just look stupid on me and a second eyeliner but i'm down to try it it just might go terrible <sighs> let's go i'm gonna zoom you guys in for this so she does very she just does eyeliner i don't know how okay never mind i already messed up we're not gonna do eyeliner just ignore that but i think we can do the egg so i don't know if i can though because my tip is so dull now That's the egg yo cell outlined. I gotta fix it. And then I blend that with my fingers. And then Hannah said she blends this out with her fingers, so let's just let's try. I think it's working. I think it actually worked. What do you guys think? It's a bit dark, but I don't know. I I don't know. Let me know. I put mascara on my eyebrow hairs. I am skipping the mascara on my brows. A touch of I suck at eyeliner. I'm sorry. We have to skip it. Okay, that's where her makeup tutorial ends, but she does lips. I need to figure out what she does, so I'm just going to try my Hannah K lips. I am going to go in with a Tude Fixing Tint. This is in the shade 02 Vintage Red, and I'm going to try and recreate her lips. I'm not the greatest at it, though. I need to overline them a bit. And smudge it out. I've noticed with her lips, they always look a bit smudged on the outline, so we're gonna try and do that. It's kind of just like you finished eating very spicy food. The lips are looking a lot more red on camera, but in person, they're much more muted and normal. But I know her tutorial stops there, but I want to finish it with a bit of my makeup. I swear sometimes her under eyes are sparkly too, so I'm just gonna do it. But this is the Etude Bling Bling Eye Stick, and we're just gonna highlight the Egg cell. This is something I always do with my makeup. I never skip it. I love a sparkly under eye. And the inner corner. My makeup look is pure highlighted inner corners and I want sparkle in the nose a bit I'm gonna finish it off with the Becca Smashbox highlighter and champagne pop and I'm just gonna put it in the inner corners and on the nose a bit I just like a good highlight. All right, you guys that is the makeup I'm gonna try and put my hair up like hers and we'll see how it looks <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Ew, what is this hair doing? I hope you guys enjoyed my attempted recreation of Hannah Kay's makeup tutorial. Even though I look absolutely nothing like her and I probably did like terrible, but I tried my best, okay? If you guys wanna see more of me, you guys can subscribe. We just hit 25,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. I love you guys for that. I am also on Instagram and TikTok if you guys want short-form content and photos over there. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.